Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, yeah, we're gonna jump straight into this. Hopefully I cover all the aspects. Uh, so you have this card, right? And if your car has like bumpers or something like that, like mine's just using the chassis as the parent node for mod collision stuff. Uh, if we hide this, uh, you can see the nodes are just in the center. Because uh, that's where the chassis node is. So that is just at world center. Uh, and then this stuff is exact collisions for the spoiler and for this. Uh, you're going to need this mod collision one. So if, for example, it was like a door mod or something like that, you'd put it at the, you'd put it at, with this being the uh, the center um, but this is that that's how you do that um, it's pretty much the same thing as exact window collisions except uh, the polygon external state you're gonna put it as... 116 and not um, like 220 something or I don't know I forget what it is um, but the, uh, the the window external state ID from the useful information text or whatever it is um, excuse me, I might as well pull that up so This stuff. 122, 121, and 120. That's the stuff for the windows. External state ID 116 for all other collisions. And that that allows bullet holes to be put on here. Um, and then in here, you don't need crash in here. Because it's not a window. Uh, fairly self-explanatory. So with these, having the center node being at world center, uh, this would be your setup with center being at world center. Um, if you set the center of this over here and the center of this over here, it'll still spawn in the middle of the car. Because it goes based off the parents center chest or the parents center node. That's why if you put it in door driver's side front, this would have the center be moved to this center. So this would be offset to the right some and forward a little more. And up. It might set the rotation as well, I'm not sure. Um That'd be something you guys could check, because I I don't have a use for it. Um, but really, it's either one way or the other. But uh, for all of this stuff, like this is just an L zero. This is just the normal mesh. Uh, set it to like materials and stuff like that. Uh, I don't. I don't think you have to have the materials in the main car. I don't think you have to, since they're in the vehicles. Why, like all the textures and stuff that are for the mods, have to be in the YFT for the vehicle or the YTD. So, like, uh, race carbon. The front splitter is the only thing that uses this, but it has to be in here. And then you're just going to have a Montego Mods folder. And in content, you're going to have this right here for the RPF file. That down there also for the RPF file. And then I don't think this has changed at all. 
No. Uh, the only thing would be, I'm pretty sure Carcoles. I'm pretty sure that's where all the mod stuff is. Um, and the global text file for the names. Um, and then it's the same thing for the wing. So, right here, Montego Roof. So in here, the YFT is Montego underscore Roof, because that's what the name of that is. And then, if we go over here, in our mod kit, it'd be a visible mod. And this is a roof. Now, I'm not sure if the mod shop label is like super particular. I don't think it is. Because like the Italian GTO or whatever it is, that's got some funky stuff. It's like Itali underscore one underscore wing or something like that. Um, but model name is just the model name of your YFT. And then mod shop label is like, uh, some sort of like custom tag for that specific mod. Um, and then collision bonus mod collision two back from our main vehicle. I didn't mean to. Mod Collision 2 is a uh, front splitter, which I labeled as roof. Just because it was, it was being a pain, it wouldn't... I couldn't remember how I did it. Um, so this one's labeled as roof, this one's labeled as spoiler and wing... So the other one's Montego, Montego underscore wing. And then this right here. So the mod shop label. And I have this in the uh, this file as well. So mod shop label. Hex. Uh, so in order to get like. So when you go into like Los Santos Customs. And it shows up with like. Uh, like first off when you drive your car in. Shows the name in the corner over here. I, I could show you guys how to do that. Um, get that to show up right. And the, uh, like, it'll show, like, for this, for example, it'll show wing and it'll show uh, roof. And then inside of there, Like, Italy exhaust A is the mod shop label, and the hash for it is that. And it shows up in this file at this location. Um, and it shows up as there, and it's exhaust A which is what the the mod shop label is it it's not exactly what the yft is labeled the yft is labeled something different but this is the mod shop label that goes with it or that they have going with it and the hash of that is in the language file and it's labeled square bore exhausts so that when you go into the like the exhaust mod, it shows up with square bore exhausts, and that correlates to this mod shop label, and this tells you which, or this tells the game which, uh, which mod name to load. So, it's the hex of the mod shop label equals the name of the mod. So, the hex of the mod shop label, so if we copy this, close that, open up our hash generator, go to hex, paste that in, generate CB5DD. 
we go to this and open this. CB5DDF8E equals a low level spoiler. And then this hash. This is this is for the vehicle name in the corner that shows up. That is model name. It's either model name or text document name. I would assume since the other one is mod shop label, it'd be like a, a label of some sort. So. <clears throat> um, so yeah. And then in here it's just this. No YTD is necessary. Um, and it, it, everything's going to show up white because it's not pulling textures off of anything. But when it loads it in-game, it's going to pull off the textures of the car. And how those materials are set up, too. And then I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I don't think there's anything else that needs to be done to get that to work. It's just pretty much... When you're starting out, my recommendation would honestly be to take a vanilla car that has a few mods and just kind of go through their go through their visible mods and pull out some of this like text file stuff. Maybe mess around with the shop label name a little once you get it to work. Like use the default stuff, like use menu wing and make sure to change your collision bone. All that other good stuff. But hopefully that covers everything. I, th I think it does. And like I said, you like if your car had a bumper or something, this would go in the bumper. And then it'd be using the bumper as the parent node instead of mine using the chassis. So instead of your... Like, my node is at the center. My node is at world center because that's where the chassis node is. But your bumper node would be on the corner or something like that. So that's where the center... Or that's... That's where mod collision 2 and... Mod collision 2 collision... That's where the center of those would be. Would be wherever... Wherever their parent node is. Now, like, obviously this collision, the parent node is this. But it'd be whatever this... Whatever the parent node of this, whatever wherever that axis lies, that's where that would be. At least I'm pretty sure. Obviously I haven't tested it. But uh, I know that I did set the uh the nodes for the collision of this and the um the center of the mod yfts to like super close to each other cuz i thought it would hinge on its own but no it just read it and spawned both of them in the center of the car um so so I've messed around with that stuff a bit. Obviously, probably not to the detail I should. To the point of making this car, or not not the car, uh, the tutorial video. But, I do know a bit. So, I figured some knowledge is better than none. I think I got it all under control now. Like I'm I'm pretty sure I know what's going on, but there may or may not be some uh some things said wrong in this. But that should get you started with what the with like making vehicle mods and stuff like that. So uh yeah, I'm gonna wrap this up in fifteen minutes and uh thanks for everybody who's been watching my videos recently. Uh it really helps out the channel. 
and uh, I will see you in the next one. Peace out.